Conquering the sky is one of mankind's greatest achievements. Before the advent of the aircraft, humans were stuck with slow and cumbersome sea travel. And this made intercontinental trips to take weeks and even months. But the moment the sky got opened, we have never looked back at all. It's your aviator captain Austin and today we'll be discussing about the reasons why you shouldn't be scared of flying. Even with the excellent safety record associated with flying, many nervous flyers still feel irrational anxiety, thinking that the plane they boarded may either malfunction or even crash. And they quickly forgot how safe flying is when compared to driving. Putting it in proper perspective, let me read out the statistics, hoping it will ease your fears. According to the Harvard study in air safety, your odds of dying in a plane crash is 1 in 11 million, while that of car accident is 1 in 5,000. Then why worry? For those afraid of hijack, probably because September 11 attack is still green in their memory. It's actually an extreme rare scenario. Statistics from Bureau of Transport shows that there is roughly likely going to be one terrorist attack in 16 million departures. In a nutshell, you are more likely to be eaten by a shark than to experience a plane hijack. For those doubting the airworthiness of the aircraft they boarded, I will advise they completely jettison their fear because major catastrophic defects like engine failure are extremely highly unlikely. And even if one of the engines fails, it can still fly safely and land in the nearest airport. And if the plane loses all its engines, which is also highly extremely unlikely, the pilot will glide safely to the nearest airport and land without having problems. For instance, the pilot of Air Transat 236 lost all its engines in the middle of Atlantic Ocean and it glided safely and landed in a nearby airport 121 kilometers away. The reason why major technical faults are highly extremely unlikely is because the aircraft operators in all categories carry out the scheduled routine maintenance that is recommended by the manufacturer. And every country has an aviation regulatory body that monitors the activities of the airline operators to ensure there is optimum compliance with their maintenance responsibilities. And whenever there is a breach in this maintenance schedule, a heavy fine is imposed on these airline operators, which is far more than the amount of money that would have used to carry out this maintenance responsibility. Aircraft maintenance ranges from daily pre-flight inspection before any flight takes off to detailed heavy-duty maintenance where the aircraft is stripped naked and all its components will be inspected. More so, in compliance with the regulatory authorities and for the safety of the flight, the planning is done in order to ensure that the operators we never exceed the time for their maintenance. More so, a lot of people are scared of turbulence, thinking that the airplane will fall down from the sky. But here is the logical reason why you shouldn't be scared of turbulence. First and foremost, your pilots are trying to get home safely as well. They don't have a parachute or an ejection seat that will take them out when things really get messed up. Always remember that pilots are highly trained professionals and are tested on a regular basis. It's probably the most regulated professions in the planet and every six months or less, they go to the simulator for training and retraining on how to handle their responsibilities and emergencies. Also, the aircraft manufacturer spends a lot of money and time in designing the aircraft to ensure that it will fly safely in the sky. But essentially, they assign pilots for every type of plane, they assign speed, and at that speed, the plane is safe for turbulence beyond what you probably have ever encountered. 
And while keeping this in mind, so realize that in aviation, everything that is approved has a huge margin of safety. So when they say your plane is safe with rough turbulence at a certain speed, it is actually safe at a much higher speed that the pilot will never exceed. The manufacturer has tested what is safe and backed it down a bunch so that there will be high margin of safety. Just sitting at the window seat, we say, but the wings are flexing too much, moving up and down. What if it breaks away? You need not to worry because the aeronautic engineers have designed the plane to have flex in their wings. And flexible wings is much safer than the stiff one sitting out there in the air. More so, the amount of flex these wings actually sustain is far more than you have ever experienced while sitting by the window. With all this in place, it is your responsibility as a passenger to always put on your seat belt because most injuries that were being sustained during turbulence condition was because the passengers were not putting on their belts. And most importantly, understand that turbulence is a normal part of the flying. Always trust that your pilot will take you safely to your destination. In conclusion, we can see that the margin of safety associated with air travel is extremely on the high side. It's your aviator captain Austin. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell button for notification. Share and like. See you next week for another interesting presentation. Bye.